scientists have just announced that days after CERN, the European Organization for Nuclear Research, turned up the Large Hadron Collider with a new maximum beam of energy, they detected that a crack had opened in the Earth's magnetic field, and said that it stayed open for 14 hours. Jokes were then shared as this happened around the same time as Stranger Things got released, and led some to theorise that perhaps some was opening a portal and that something otherworldly might come through. Although a hole did open in Earth's magnetic field, scientists have said that no interdimensional beings have come through yet. The researchers did say though that while the hole was open it did allow some powerful solar winds to come through. For those unaware, the Earth's magnetic field is an incredibly important aspect to our planet that we do not often talk about, not outside of science lessons at least. The magnetic field can help keep us on track, keeping our compass needles pointing north, but it also keeps our planet habitable by deflecting solar winds that otherwise would threaten to strip away the ozone layer. We may not discuss the magnetic field on a regular basis, but it's truly important in maintaining life as we know it. Those working at NASA have said that it's important to conduct further research on solar winds, saying that forceful solar mass ejections can damage or destroy Earth-orbiting satellites, and create power surges that can black out entire cities. This recent hole that was opened up turned out to be a rare phenomenon that goes by the name of co-rotating interaction region. This region has been described as having long-lasting plasma structures that are generated in low and middle latitude regions of the sun. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration revealed that the solar storm caused a G1-class geomagnetic storm. Lately, however, something strange has been happening to that valued player, with NASA feeling the need to actively monitor and track an anomaly found in the magnetic field, where the magnetic intensity seems to have dropped. This seems to be a huge error in the magnetic field which is notably less magnetic than it should be. An error spanning over South America and Southwest Africa has been impacted thus far. This unusual occurrence known as the South Atlantic Anomaly has been toying with the minds of scientists for years now. One group particularly concerned about the strange happenings are the NASA researchers. The American Space Agency has a number of satellites and spacecrafts orbiting in space, many of which orbit Earth. The concern here is that with the magnetic field being weakened, there is a greater exposure to charged particles heading our way from the Sun. The South Atlantic anomaly does not impact life on Earth, but it will have a significant impact on the spacecrafts in orbit of Earth. As they circle our planet at their low orbit altitudes, these crafts will inevitably pass straight through said anomaly. We believe that during these periods where they pass through, the lessened strength of the magnetic field can cause some disturbances in the technology used within these satellites. They can short circuit, malfunction and all manner of similar problems can arise when they're struck by high energy, especially charged protons from the sun. Scientists recently announced that roughly 17 eruptions were detected in a single air of the sun, with two of those flares hitting Earth at nearly 2 million miles per hour. One of the critical aspects of understanding the sun has to do with coronal mass ejections, or CMEs and solar flares. A reason for astronomers to keep a close eye on these CMEs is that these eruptions may be able to create blackouts and block communication systems in just a few seconds. In early 2022, SpaceX lost 40 satellites a few hours after launch due to a geomagnetic storm. These developments prove the need for astronomers to take precautions. Sunspots have long been known for their strong magnetic fields, and their ability to release radiation called solar flares. One of these sunspots called AR2975 has been quite active as of lately. Solar flares typically need around 15 to 18 hours to arrive on Earth. However, this time around, a powerful solar storm was created by a strong wave produced by a fast-moving flare, and that overtook a slower flare. 
The magnetic storm that resulted from this event produced a beautiful natural show of lines that are usually referred to as the Northern Lines. These lights were formed when the magnetic storm hit the upper layers of the Earth's atmosphere. This light show was visible all across the United States, from the northern states to Iowa and Oregon. This solar storm resulted in beautiful views, but larger solar storms can cause tremendous damage. According to SWPC, G3 storms can cause radio navigation problems at low frequency and intermittent satellite navigation problems. Scientists have even predicted that a massive G3 storm may be able to disable the internet use across the world. Those types of storms can cause trillions of dollars in damage, like the solar storm of 1989 in Quebec. According to scientists, the largest solar storm ever witnessed was in 1859 during the Carrington event, when a storm of solar particles damaged telegraph systems across the world and caused auroras that were even brighter than the full moon. As these events result in genuinely beautiful views, it's not worth the destruction, and scientists still have a long way to go in regards to investigating these events. So what do you make of these recent announcements? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comments section below, and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.